Here is former Black Panther member and author Clarence Mason Weaver's response to the question, what do you think people need to know about the Black Lives Matter movement? It really means black lies matter. Because you're believing the lie. The whole power behind Black Lives Matter is their ability to get you to stop dealing in reality and start dealing in guilt. You know it's you know in your soul it's garbage. But you can't say it because somebody might not like it, but you know. Black lives matter. Think of what they're saying. They're saying that every problem they have requires white folks to do something. What well, Black Lives Matter really is saying that they believe, they believe white folks are superior. They believe white people owe it to themselves to take better care of their animals. They're saying, I can't take care of my problems. You, you're responsible. They, they will say it. They will say things like, you better start caring about us more. Are you kidding me? How can you care about me? I'm grown. <laughs> Why would you? They believe in white superiority. They believe it. They're comfortable in that. So they'll come and demand for white folks, I need a $15 minimum wage. When they should be saying, I need to find out how to get a maximum wage. They're going to white folks and say, I need, to, I need low income housing. Instead of saying, let me figure out how to get high income housing. And so they, they want better education. Folks, the libraries are free. You could even go and, and monitor a class in college for free. If not just power, if not just power, go get it. Uh, what you're saying, though, is a degree is power. A degree is not power. Knowledge is power. So Black Lives Matter. I was, at a, I, I was called by a gentleman that I support in uh, running for, Cong running for uh, governor. He said, Mason, Mason. Every time I go out, they're going to put a microphone in my, in my face saying, does black lives matter? I don't know how to respond to that. I said, respond. Look at the camera and say, it doesn't matter if I believe black lives matter. If you believe black lives matter, join me and make, make black lives better. And now, here's sports journalist Jason Whitlock adding some common sense to the conversation when discussing the role of social and mainstream media. The overwhelming majority of Americans have nothing to do with Twitter. Nothing. It's not a representation of what people actually think in American society. The media over-indexes, celebrities over-index, yeah. athletes, people that are trying to build brands, and people that are attracted to people that are trying to build brands are the people that are on social media. And so, because the media overindulges in social media and because we use it as wet our fingers, oh, this is the way the wind's blowing because Twitter tells me so. Yeah. So if Twitter tells you that the police are indiscriminately just killing black men every night and the media buys into that, they will. the media starts selling, oh, unarmed black men killed, unarmed black men killed, and they'll never address the hundreds and thousands of killings that poor people and poor people of color and black people are doing to themselves every day that never gets addressed. There's no Twitter feed that's popular that's out there telling you who's getting shot in Chicago every night, every weekend. And so there's no hysteria around that. They created a hysteria around when the police make mistakes and or do something evil. Uh, which is very rare. There's, you know, trust me, policemen don't want to go to jail. Yeah. Not a good experience for them. Policemen don't want to be the targets of the vitriol that goes along with killing anybody. Uh, now, are there some bad cops? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but what is our problem as African Americans? It's the gun violence we do to ourselves. That's what's taking us out and having a real impact. And that's what has our communities living in fear. I say this all the time. My dad was as black a human being as you could possibly be. Uh, he could afford to live wherever he wanted. He built a new house in the ghetto because he liked being around black people. He had a business that he ran in the ghetto because he liked dealing with black people. When he put 
alarms on his business, when he put bars on his business, when he put an alarm on his home, when he carried a 38 every day that I knew him, it wasn't because he was like, Jason, man, I got, these police are out to get me. They may break into my home. They may break into my bed. Right, that it was, wasn't it. Yeah. It was he was worried about the people in his neighborhood and the fear. And again, he again the guy loved black people. Yeah. Uh, but the reality of what's going on in our communities, there's not a pervasive fear of the police. There's a pervasive fear of ourselves. Finally, this is Larry Elder, including some statistics when ridiculing the notion of systemic racism. 965 people were shot by cops last, last year and killed. 4% of them were white cops shooting unarmed blacks. In, in Chicago in 2011, 21 people were shot and killed by cops. Uh, in 2015, there were seven. Uh, in Chicago, which is a third black, a third white, and a third Hispanic, 70% of the homicides are black on black. Uh, about 40 per month, almost 500 uh, in the, per year last year in Chicago, and 75% of them are unsolved. Where is the Black Lives Matter on that? The idea that a racist white cop uh, and shooting unarmed black people is a peril to black people is BS. It's yeah. complete and total BS. And, and the reason for these so-called activists saying this is the assumption that racism remains a major problem in America. The media, CNN, especially MSNBC, runs down whenever a black cop shoots somebody, uh, and, it, and it's a, some, some march on Washington. It's ridiculous. Uh, black people, half the homicides in this country are committed by and against black people. Last year, there were 14,000 homicides, I'm not talking about suicides, I'm talking about homicides. Mm -hmm. Um, half of them were black, 96% of them black on black of that 7,000. Where's the black, black Lives Matter people on that? Where's, where's the evidence of a lack of social justice? When a black uh, suspect is killed by, by a cop, believe me, the media's on it, people are watching it, uh, and, uh, and justice will, will, for the most part, occur. In Baltimore, where Freddie Gray was killed, uh, Freddie Gray died in a van, I shouldn't say was killed, died in a van. Yeah. You have a city that's 45% uh, black. Uh, city council is 100% Democrat. The majority of city council is black. The top cop at the time was, was black. The number two cop was black. The majority of the command staff is black. The, the mayor is black. Uh, the AG is black. Uh, and yet here we are talking about racism. I mean, it's, it's absurd. Yeah. It's absurd. Now I ask you, what would the response from Black Lives Matter be if the people making these comments were not people of color? Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a comment and hit that like button. If you didn't like it, please explain why. Open discussion is the only way to have a better understanding of differing views. Sharing this video on social media can help keep conversations alive. Now here are a few other videos that you may be interested in.